So there's a place called right over there called Bleachers. And she says the mac and cheese is amazing. It's the, it's the best mac and cheese. Best mac and for cheese me. ever. No, no, for everyone. Other than <laughs> craft mac and cheese. <laughs> so look at that. It looks like pasta noodles. Too. Yeah. She loves it, so she made it a point yeah. to come there to get it. It's a cheese shop in Pike Place Market in Seattle, and then they have a franchise here. So, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to another episode, guys. We're at LAX because Japan opened up and we're gonna go. So, we got a flight in about two hours. Right now, we're just in the food court eating. I got some panda, Trish got some mac and cheese. We eat up before we go. It's like uh, 10 in the morning right now. <laughs> 14 hours to go. Let me write that on the piece of paper. 14 hours to go. Yeah. Got our, uh, our pouch bag. Where'd you get that? Huh? Oh, that? Oh, you, that's yours. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> I was like, I didn't get that. Kind of I got a towel on it. Alright, so we're finally back. Well, not finally back. We finally got to the room after like a pretty long walk. And it's like sort of rainy out there, but it's not cold enough. So it's like 67 degrees, so you get hot quick from uh, lugging on a ton of stuff. But we're here finally. Uh, we can get settled a little bit. But when there's no rest. It's just food time. It's food time. And now we're in Tokyo Ramen Street which is a 
nice little area underground in the Tokyo station where all the best foods are. This is apparently one of the most popular ramen places in Japan. And it actually had a line when we first got there. The food here was so good. Honestly, it's the, the best ramen I've ever had in my life. And now I just can't eat other ramen without thinking about this one. So the story goes that Sukumin was invented here a long time ago. The chef saw a customer dipping his cold noodles in his hot soup. And the chef decided to add it to his menu, which gained popularity throughout Japan. And here's actual footage of that customer eating the very first Sukumin ever. Okay, you see this clip right here? You see that there's no sound? Right before this clip, I put the camera down on the table between us and Trish was getting some soup from my bowl. She was getting some soup. And you can see there's like a plexiglass in between us. So she had to go around like this, get, get soup from my ramen bowl, and then bring it over back to hers. And I had the camera, because I'm an idiot, I had the camera sitting in between us on the table because it's very little space. And some of the, and only when she got above the camera did some of the soup fall down into the camera. I have the camera right here actually. So this is the camera I had. As you can see, you might be able to see that right there. I should get out of the frame. Can you see it? There's a speak, there's a grill on the top. This records the uh, audio, like a, it's a microphone basically. And it's on top of the camera instead of the front of the body. So she was putting the soup over like this and she dropped soup on top of this camera and the soup went into the camera. I, at that point when the soup got in, I put the camera upside down, I took the battery out, hoping, hoping the sauce will come out and it'll dry up and it'll be fine. Uh, what I found out later is it wasn't recording audio anymore. So this is basically where this episode ends. And I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day because I didn't have any other cameras with me. And this is my this is the camera I was carrying with me at the time. The other camera I had was already in back in the hotel, so I didn't vlog at any point between the restaurant and going back home. But luckily, I had another camera. I had this camera, so the rest of the trip I'll be using this camera. That's why this episode ends so abruptly. Take it. <laughs> okay. Good night.